Greetings, dear Scorpio. Hi, this is Terra Illumination with your love and relationship report for July 2017. Welcome. So, please, uh, we're just going to try and get on with it. Um, please uh, watch the playlist introduction video. It'll really help you to understand how the readings are done and why they're done this way. Also, if you really want to go deeper, please watch the little video for behind the scenes, okay, for love and relationships. So, uh, what's the other routine stuff? Oh yeah, read for your sun, moon, and rising, of course. That's what you're supposed to do, so that's what you do and then squish it all up together to get the fuller understanding, okay? I don't do any reversals. I don't have any oracles for the um, for the general reports. And we're just keeping it really, really simple. Uh, the reading is, I, I call it a mini crucible. And it's about the idea of having a significant uh, chosen relationship with another, uh, to some degree or another, where, again, to some degree or another, there is a crucible-type structure in place, which in the highest expression would be a, a good marriage, uh, in which the pressures, the alchemical pressures of evolution, uh, of self and other, can occur in a place, in a safe place. Uh, uh, so no matter what the pressure is, uh, we can intimate and separate, intimate and separate, like beautiful waves in a continuous pattern that never ends. And let's just, uh, let's roll on with it, okay? All right, that's enough, enough spoke. Oh, hold on, give me a moment. Okay, we're good. Okay. So, we're gonna cut it up. I'm gonna really split up the energies for fun. Keep it clear. And let's see, what, let's just say this is you, okay, and let's say this is a significant other, okay, and this is going deeper inside of you, Scorpio, and deeper inside another. These could be any kind of energies in the context of relationship dynamic. Now, don't worry if you guys are singles and stuff. Please, you might be able to get something out of the report anyway, because either way, you are radiating uh, the energy of relationship. I don't know how loving it may be, but we all have to relate to each other in some way or another. Uh, we are not islands. And of course, we know if you are okay with the laws of attraction, for example, you may be radiating what you deserve and what you need in return, full spectrum. So if someone may show up in your vortex without even knowing it at a later date, resonating to your current energy now. And that would be an exact match to what you need uh, for your own spiritual and evolutional growth and vice versa for the other. So uh, this would be the status of the relationship. There's you. There's the other. Question mark, question mark. And uh, here's where, you know, what this relationship dynamic is generating. Underneath, I like to call it the weather is um, like surrounding conditions, so to speak, uh, that would be like saturating your world. It may not be your energy exactly, but it's the energy in which you are swimming, like the status of the energy, so to speak. And you make the best of it. Like if it's a crappy day, you make the best of it. If it's a really good, beautiful day, you make the best of it. If you have to wear gloves and coats and scarves, do that. If you need to uh, wear sunglasses and a sun hat, do that. Uh, whatever it takes. An umbrella, you know, mittens. Anyway, what you have, dear Scorpio, is beautiful, beautiful temperance. So, dear Scorpio, you might be uh, kind of like in this beautiful, um, let's say, spiritually blessed environment right now where you have the opportunity to go through deep alchemical, um, let's say, transformation, uh, bringing, let's say, um, very, very disparate energies into harmony and balance. And if this is in the context of a loving relationship, this could indicate very extremes of polarity of energy that are in some magical way, uh, particularly blessed from above, 
finding harmony and balance so that there is equilibrium uh, to the point where it's almost like a beautiful still calm. So you just might be in that vibe right now, Scorpio. And astrologically speaking, it wouldn't surprise me too much at all because the sun is in Cancer and a lot of other planets are in the Cancer energy, which is very supportive of your energy, Scorpio, um, especially when it comes to higher consciousness right now and for your uh, expansion of awareness about how life in the world works for you. Also, if you want to read the Asperger Babel uh, reports, that might help in understanding the astrology energy we're living through right now and watch your general reports. Again, watch for your sun, moon, and rising. And understand we are under the energy field of a Cancer new moon, and we're moving into a Cancer full moon, uh, Capricorn, that would be on the 9th of July. And you're going to feel it, uh, mostly in a harmonic way, okay? Not every sign's going to feel it that way. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at you. What's going on? Okay, you're figuring stuff out, which makes a lot of sense, Scorpio. There's an awful lot on your plate right now that needs to be, uh, what do they call it, wrangled? You know, when you're wrangling energy, so to speak. Like there's a lot of stuff going on that needs to be, let's say, brought into harmony, and brought into balance. And then, in other words, if this is the pervasive energy right now, this could be your uh, behavior in that condition. In other words, doing this, um, it's almost like, game. It's almost like just the sheer joy and the fun of living through uh, alchemical um, processes of evolution where, uh, what do they call it, created destruction. It's all happening simultaneously. Everything that's obsolete and redundant is being like crushed and pulverized and dissolved and sent back into the universe as like uh, magic confetti, just another layer of stars in the universe. And at the same time, everything that um, you need is being uh, invoked and uh, manifesting in tangible ways, which could be, some people would call that like the process of alchemy, literally turning lead into gold. I think of it turning garbage into gold, things that could have been extremely traumatic, very, very uh, disorienting, perhaps very uh, life-shattering over perhaps extended periods of times and culminating in this moment, particularly through July, where it's like the feeling of not going through a blender or a grinder where there's a lot of pain, but going through this beautiful alchemical process where it's almost like you're witnessing it in front of your own life in your own hands uh, by being willing to, let's say, go to battle with yourself, your innermost demons and shadows, and bring that into the light and force, so to speak, where the light prevails, when where ultimately you prevail um, and rise above the, the challenges, so to speak. So to me, this is really, really healthy energy. It's very active, it's very passionate, it's very stimulating, it's, it's fun. It's almost like the sport of evolution, the, the joy of evolving, it actually becomes exciting. Like It's like almost you don't want anything else. All I want to do, dear Scorpio, for example, if I'm speaking for you, is just I want to grow into the better and better and better version of myself because that's all that's going to do is help me uh, have a healthier relationship with a significant other somewhere, sometime. And this is your business. It's very passionate, exciting, and I'm happy for you, Scorpio. Let's have a look at the significant other. What's going on there? Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, <sighs> okay, Scorpio, what I'm feeling here for you is that in the process of you uh, honoring yourself, doing what you have to do to be you, taking full advantage of the circumstances and your, your, your like greater environment, um, just like a, a good navigator, a, a good, let's say a processor. Let's say you, you are really tapping into the skills of alchemy. Uh, like It's like refining gold when you have to put intense pressure on these very base energies, base metals, ores and stuff. And you refine and you refine and you refine and you purify. And you just, it's a distillation. 
uh, where all the uh, unnecessary matter to get to the gold is removed. And so you're left with 99.99% pure gold at the end of it. And in some ways it's a brutally painful, vicious, violent process, but it's also very beautiful. Um, and it seems to be working uh, in some way, dear Scorpio, uh, because it seems you have attracted the energy of, uh, of another to whom there is a great sense of completion and fulfillment uh, inside of themselves, like everything is exactly how as it should be, how it could have ever been, how it, how it, how it always should have been, and now it's here right now. It's a, it's, it's a full-on sense of completion. Like it might be, dear Scorpio, that you're relating with a significant other who feels now that they have it all, so to speak, and that could just be within themselves. This could be a very profound sense of completion, having come to a sense of fulfillment inside of themselves where over perhaps you know weeks months years or even perhaps lifetimes there's a sense of uh, completion where everything is exactly as it should be all the pressures all the pains and sufferings all the forces of the universe earth air fire and water the planets the tides the seasons your life experiences uh, your dreams, your wishes, all of it, everything is squashed into one thing that now is resonating inside of your significant other or a significant other uh, in the form of completion where uh, this is not, let's say, a happy card. It's a profound uh, realization and acceptance of completion and fulfillment. Like it almost might be feeling for them even though you might be doing a lot of inner work yourself to go through the process of alchemy, they may actually be enjoying the process simultaneously because in some ways they are the one uh, going through the refinement process, uh, having been willing to subject themselves to uh, engage and relate in the context of the crucible structure where massive pressures can occur and that they can be endured uh, for the benefit, for the uh, spiritual benefit and evolution of oneself and the other. So you might be dealing with a significant other who is enjoying reciprocal um, uh, benefits. And like it's like they, they could be soaking it up in such a way that this is just everything they, they could have ever wanted or dreamed of. And it's about time because deep down inside of themselves, they know they deserve this. Uh, we have no idea where this leads to, but it seems to this particular reading, the way Terra Illumination is feeling it, that um, you you might be relating you in your own inner mechanisms of doing what you have to do to be who you are. Congratulations, dear Scorpio. You happen to be relating to someone who's really enjoying the process of being in there with you because they are witnessing their own spiritual growth and health and evolution at the same time to come to this point of like almost like perfection, culmination, uh, like a plant coming into full bloom, so to speak. And it doesn't have to do anything else except just be there and exist and be itself, be themselves just exactly as they are in that full radiance. So let's keep going. Let's have a look deeper inside of you, Scorpio. What's going on? Okay. Well, <laughs> look at this. It's more wands energy. Um, huh. Okay. Well, it might just be, dear Scorpio, that as you, it might just be that you're in a condition right now, like, like a good sailor or a good farmer. You're just uh, wetting your fingers, sticking it up there, thinking, mm, what's going on? Mm, let's have a look. Uh, where's the prevailing wind coming from? How are we going to make the best of this? What are we going to do with all of that? And you're doing it for your own benefit on the understanding that others benefit too. And it's almost like there's nothing else that you would rather do because to be able to have the chance to relate with another of this degree of significance is just an extremely rare and wonderful opportunity, Scorpio. So it might be deeper down that you might be getting a sensation that this is actually happening, um, but it's more on a subliminal, deeply buried level. And it kind of makes you feel, dear Scorpio, as though you might be radiating this energy of the Queen of Wands. It's very, very, very 
feminine energy, but it's very, very powerful. Whether you're a male or female watching this, it doesn't matter. It, I'm just considering the raw energy here where you might be getting like a sense of resonance from a significant other who uh, in their own energy is just simply being themselves, which triggers a sense of awareness that, oh my gosh, my own decisions and actions and behaviors are actually manifesting in ways that are not just good for myself as, a, as the Scorpio, but good for others as is being evidenced in a significant other. So this is very beautiful, Scorpio. Uh, the Queen of Wands energy would be something like uh, being very, very comfortable with their radiance, their light, their passions, their spirit in a very open, honest, and generous way to the point where it's almost like they're looking for places and people and opportunities who have the ability to receive the kind of energy that you have to offer Scorpio. And you don't mind sharing that because you know that the more you radiate this kind of, let's say, shining light. Uh, it's that, um, uh, there's a Marianne Williamson quote. Uh, it's the same, uh, same as you know, Nelson Mandela or something, but it's about like, like when you shine your light to your full um, integrity and authenticity, uh, it, it uh, sends an okay message for others to shine their light too. And so this is, this energy deep down, you could be aware that you're actually kind of tapping into like the fundamentals of the law of attraction where by radiating this much passion and light, uh, having by doing all this work on yourself, it's actually you're starting to actually feel it in your body, in your systems, in your life, in your world around you, where the energy is being radiated more like the Queen of Wands, where it's like, you know, this kind of energy, like just pretend we're starting with this, but is expanding and growing. And it goes, wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow, wow. And the more and the bigger that that gets, the more this happens in resonance and response. Like, wow, 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 wow. Like, oh, wow. Like, like, I get you. Well, I'm glad you get me. That's cool. That's very cool. Let's just keep doing that because resonance breeds resonance. Now, of course, you don't want to go crazy and just make everything explode. It, everything happens in waves. We integrate and we intimate and we separate. We intimate and we separate. But at this very moment, in this particular little reading, it's just a general reading for you, Scorpio, for the love and relationship type of energy. It's like you're getting validation that you're on path. Uh, simply through being able to relate with a significant other. So that would encourage you to like feel like... like um, wow, that's actually cool. I am a Scorpio and I, I get to wear the crown. I get to wear the robes of being this uh, inspirational light and energy to others. It's not just me, Scorpio, enjoying this for myself. It's actually uh, mutually beneficial to self and others. And so even though you might be not you might not be expressing this outwardly and openly. This could be radiating through your life, your aura, and your presence in this world. Okay, so that's good. Let's have a look inside. Who knows what's going on there? Whoa. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Ooh, I'm scared to talk. <laughs> this is, these are very, uh, these are really big cards, Scorpio. We're coming in very, very strong with this beautiful temperance energy being blessed from heaven above um, in the context of love and relationship. And you seem to be relating with someone who gets it and understands and uh, in a very clear, unequivocal, unambiguous manner. And inside of them, it might be triggering uh, several types of energies, one of which could be the consideration of... Uh, such like let's say equanimity some people would call this a, a marriage card in the formal sense the traditional old-fashioned sense that they may they may feel that they are married to you at the deepest soul level and they are just simply enjoying that in other words they don't have to go bragging about it or showing off and telling people it's just an internal dynamic it's very deeply deeply uh, embedded in their whole system to the point where 
it's formalizing now. In other words, everything that could have been dreams, wishes, desires, uh, challenges over an extended period of time, even lifetimes, is culminating into something that is complete in this lifetime for a significant other, for you, Scorpio, to the point where they, are, they can feel it in their DNA, locked in like the Her Hierophant is very much about the codes of life, the code of existence, universal laws, universal codes that trump everything and anything else. Um, and there's no ambiguity, okay? And so you might be dealing with a significant other who senses that within themselves, like, like there's a very high degree of order, uh, divine awareness, divine order uh, in what is happening. And it is being, um, let's say, what's the word? Um, brought down from above, like in such a way that like spirit energy is coming down into matter and being formalized in ways that are comprehensible, understandable in terms of a code of life, a code of being, new ways of life, new codes of being, new downloads, new upgrades in uh, codes. It's like, it's like, you know, when you're on your computer and one of these major provider services says, okay, it's time to upgrade your system. And they're doing a whole major upgrade and you kind of have to like go into a sort of a, a state of um, surrender and neutrality and surrender to the, to the energy while the downloads are happening. And we could be dealing with very, very significant amounts of download material that can take quite a while to download into the new version of, of the significant other to the point where it gets locked in in a, in, in, a, in a tangible, understandable, integral manner that would make sense to anyone and everyone else around them in their world in so way, such a way that it's quite evident, okay? There's nothing secret or hidden about any of this energy. Uh, it's just very kind of, it's what would be radiating from the other soul, so to speak. Uh, it's not like they're going to be necessarily, um, uh, what's the word, struggling with any of this. There's none of this energy going on inside of the other in, in the way that it's happening inside of you, Scorpio. They are living their own journey in their own world in direct relationship with yourself. And the energies are very, very different, but highly complementary to the point where it's essentially... It's essentially uh, two as one, two beings as one type of energy. Uh, so let's have a look. What, what, let's have a look at the status of the relationship. Okay, this is <laughs> Scorpio. You're kind of on a roll here. Um, I, hope, I, ho I hope some of the other reports come out like this. We'll see. I don't know if it's, I don't know where it's all going. But anyway, the status of the relationship is that there is... <laughs> It's like the temperates on the grand scale um, at the highest levels of frequencies of love relationships, so to speak, are actually uh, integrating into the core of the relationship in a kind of a bedrock manner, which would be much more understandable in like worldly terms instead of spiritual energy. Because all of this energy over here in terms of a significant other is deeply, deeply buried in terms of soul and spirit. And it seems to be happening now where it's transferring into uh, tangible ways uh, uh, that could be understood in what, you know, we could call our life here on this planet, so where there is a, a sensation of like, as above, as above, so below. In other words, let's say everything is preordained. I mean, look at this energy here. When you put all these together here. For a significant other it's like there's some kind of divine guidance going on here where everything is exactly as it should be uh, with a significant other and they have the grace and courage and knowledge and wisdom and humility to allow this to all happen through their their selves their body their experience to bring it down into a tangible form that would be understood in this lifetime perhaps like a marriage vow or a contract to be together in person for for however they want to structure their agreement in a way that's very orderly and very ordained and very, let's say, um, oh, I just said it, ordained from above. And in so doing, uh, 
Uh, it brings a sense of actual, instead of just living up in the clouds and through spirit and everything, which is all wonderful, and actually translates into a, um, a worldly um, experience where there's a, a tremendous sense of balance when it comes to giving and receiving. In other words, the natural waves and processes of healthy relationship where we intimate and we separate, we intimate and we separate, we retain our complete distinct natures and individualities as beings, living our own private journeys together in our own way for the mutual benefit of our own spiritual evolution and the other, um, allowing for a completely different experience, but as a shared experience, it's, it's very, very balanced, where there is a lot of giving and receiving, a tremendous amount of exchange of energy, mutual exchange that's mutually beneficial between you, Scorpio, and a significant other that's mutually beneficial. And it's very, very beautifully balanced. It's just like one of those lucky situations where you might have a very high degree of resonance with a significant other, where it's almost like you get this type of energy and it all becomes one thing, where it's like indistinguishable. It's just all is one, all is one. And let's just see where this is leading. Who knows? Do, do, do. Oh my God. <laughs> Scorpio, what the bleep is going on in your life and your world? I, I swear to God, this is like a completely over-the-top report reading, Scorpio. This uh, is an indication that you've kind of like, you've either hit the jackpot or you are aware that you are in a very profoundly, divinely blessed situation that is almost mind-blowing. Um I don't know if all the Scorpios are going to feel this. This is just almost like an over-the-top reading. It's hard for me to almost comprehend. And I'm kind of being, I'm almost breathless. So, you know, if it doesn't feel like this for Scorpio, you, whoever is watching, please watch for your moon and rising as well. And watch for the North Node and Leo videos. Watch for the Saturn retrograde. Watch for the Neptune retrograde and the Astrobabble reports and things like that. Watch the report for... Uh, this whole playlist for love and relationship and watch the uh, other report for behind the scenes in love and relationship so that you might understand this reading better because um, as little generic mini tarot readings go, this is really quite significant. So I haven't even said this yet, but you know, this is the lover's card. Some people see it as the lover's card where it is the ultimate card of like relationship. And that's beautiful. Congratulations. Awesome. Well done, dear Scorpio. And bravo. Uh, just please understand that where this seems to be heading is that when you're dealing with a relationship of this significance, where it has this degree of impact on your life and what appears to be having a similar uh, degree of impact on another person's life, but in a very different way for them, it's still a shared experience, which still comes down to a divine union where um, it's deliberate and it is chosen. This isn't accidental. In other words, it's a realization between both parties that they both have the opportunity to make very profound uh, life-changing decisions that are mutually beneficial to themselves and each other and their whole world around them. Um, this is like a very, very blessed energy, so to speak. All that, the only, um, what do they call that caveat? Not, it's not a warning. The only, there are things to understand that when you get into this degree of union, this isn't just like uh, hanky panky and uh, dating and let's get married and have a few kids and uh, you do this and I'll do that and uh, what are we having for dinner? It's a little bit more than that. There's some something going on here which is divinely blessed from above so long as the two parties have the courage to go through this union. It's a very, very, let's say it's preordained, so to speak, but again it does involve making big, big decisions. Because when you go into a union of this caliber, like there's no going back. There is only going forward. And all the goodness that is going on here simply magnifies, magnifies and radiates and resonates bigger and bigger and bigger as time moves on. 
It's just that this is a very, very big decision because it's very, very life changing because what tends to happen and what will happen is that in the context of the crucible ongoing, both parties have to be aware that they will be uh, literally naked with each other uh, at the very best of themselves and the very worst of themselves, which would, of course, trigger the alchemical process of divine evolution to uh, start all over again. But instead of doing it in chunks and waves or like bits and pieces, it can be a continuous process. Once the decision is made to formalize things, it's like you're creating a very, very powerful crucible that can withstand astronomical pressures for the long term to the, to the, up to the point where it's worth it for you, Scorpio. However much struggle you're having to endure, and how, even though you're aware that deep inside this is kind of bringing out the best in you, uh, allowing yourself to radiate at your highest frequencies for the benefit of yourself and others around you, it's still a huge leap for you, Scorpio. It's a very, very big leap from where you are, who you are right now. And you just happen to be divinely blessed. You're in the right place at the right time. And you seem to be with the right person, somebody who's uh, an equal, so to speak. And um, it's a mutual decision. Uh, to get to this degree of union, both parties have to agree to be there concurrently. It, it, it cannot happen like where one party is dragging someone over, you know, someone to be in this thing when it's not chosen. It, it has to be done in a way that is to, it is a chosen, it's simply chosen. Uh, it's almost like it doesn't even have to be emotional or anything. It can just be like, okay, we're going to do this. We're just going to do it. Or we're going to live with it, and that's how it's going to be. And so it's very, very beautiful. Um, I had something to say. What was it? I just noticed something. Okay, I was going to say there are no cup cards here, but, you know, we're dealing with the energy of love anyway, because love is, as you know, love does. Love is the energy of heaven in action. So in the context of this relationship, dear Scorpio, you have, uh, you have like almost like a divinely blessed opportunity uh, 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 to... To be that, to be to almost to be a shining example of the energy of love in its most profound form, and in so doing, triggering a significant other who can do that, probably even way better than you can. But they are just like, you know, they're just doing it in their own their own way. So, dear Scorpio, I don't want to spoil this by saying anything else. Um, so please make the best of this. I hope it makes some kind of sense to you. Uh, we could go on with this for a while because it's a profound reading. Um, but, you know, we're kind of on a clock here and we got, a, you know, other signs to take care of. So have a super month, dear Scorpio. Make the best of it. It seems like you already are. And uh, look forward to uh, August. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye, Scorpio.